My topic is brand and detail explain and let's go to the topic and let's go to the start. A brand is a name, term, design, symbol, or other feature that distinguishes one seller's product from those of others. Brands are used in business, marketing, and advertising for identification and differentiation. Some well-known brands include Nike, Coca-Cola, and Apple. Do you have a specific brand that you would like to know more about? A brand is a name, term, design, symbol, or other feature that distinguishes one seller's product from those of others. Brands are used in business, marketing, and advertising for identification and differentiation purposes. A strong brand can help to build customer loyalty and increase the value of a product or service. Do you have any specific questions about brands that I can help with? A brand is a name, term, design, symbol, or other feature that distinguishes one seller's product from those of others. Brands are used in business, marketing, and advertising for identification and to create and store value as brand equity for the object identified, to the benefit of the brand's customers, its owners and shareholders. Brands are a critical element in the marketing of products and services, and play a key role in how customers perceive and experience a product or service. For example, Apple, Nike, and Samsung are all well-known brands in the technology and consumer goods industries. These brands have established reputations and strong associations with certain products and values, and are easily recognizable by consumers. Is there anything else you would like to know about brands? Could you please provide more context or clarify your question? A brand can refer to a variety of things, such as a company's name, logo, slogan, and other elements that distinguish it from its competitors. It can also refer to a specific product made by a company. Let me know if you have any specific questions about brands and I'll do my best to help. A brand is a name, term, design, symbol or other feature that distinguishes one seller's product from those of others. Brands are used in business, marketing, and advertising for identifying and distinguishing products from one another. A strong brand can help to build customer loyalty and increase the value of a product or company. Can you please provide more context or clarify your question? A brand can refer to a variety of things, such as a specific company, product, or service, and can also include elements like a logo, name, or tagline. If you have a specific brand in mind, please let me know and I will do my best to help. A brand is a name, term, design, symbol, or other feature that distinguishes one seller's product from those of others. Brands are used in business, marketing, and advertising for recognition and, importantly, to create and store value as brand equity for the object identified to the benefit of the brand's customers, its owners and shareholders. Do you have any specific questions about brands or branding? There are many different brands in the world, and they can be associated with a wide variety of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and Samsung. These brands are known for their high-quality products and strong reputations. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand or branding in general? There are many different brands in the world, each with its own unique identity and characteristics. Some of the most well-known brands include Apple, Coca-Cola, Nike, and Disney. These brands are recognized and trusted by consumers all over the world, and have become synonymous with the products or services they offer. In business, a strong brand can be a powerful asset helping to build customer loyalty, increase customer satisfaction, and drive sales. Companies invest significant resources into developing and promoting their brands, in order to differentiate themselves from competitors and stand out in the marketplace. Is there anything specific you would like to know about brands? There are many different brands in the world, and they can be associated with a wide variety of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and IBM. These companies have all developed strong and recognizable brands through marketing and advertising efforts, as well as by offering high-quality products and services that consistently meet the needs and expectations of their customers. 
Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand? There are many different brands in the world, across a wide range of industries. Some well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and IBM. These companies have built strong brands through effective marketing and the delivery of high-quality products and services to their customers. A strong brand can help a business stand out in a crowded market and can be an important factor in attracting and retaining customers. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand? There are many different brands in the world, covering a wide range of products and services. Some of the most well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and Google. Each of these brands is associated with a particular product or service, and is known for the quality and reliability of its offerings. Brands can be an important factor in a consumer's decision-making process, as a strong brand can indicate to a consumer that the product or service being offered is trustworthy and of high quality. There are many different brands in the world, offering a wide range of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Microsoft. These brands are often associated with high quality and customer satisfaction. There are also many smaller, less well-known brands that offer specialized products or services. Brands can be an important factor in consumers' purchasing decisions, as they often associate certain brands with reliability, value, and trustworthiness. There are many different brands in the world, and they can be found in a wide variety of industries including fashion, technology, automotive, and more. Some well-known brands include Nike, Apple, and Toyota. Each brand has its own unique identity and characteristics, and consumers often choose to purchase from a particular brand based on these qualities. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand or branding in general? There are many different brands in the world, each with its own unique characteristics and features. Some well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and Toyota. These brands are known for the quality and reliability of their products and services, and have built up strong reputations over time. Many people are loyal to particular brands and prefer to buy products or services from those brands whenever possible. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand? There are many different brands in the world, and they cover a wide range of products and industries. Some of the most well-known brands include Apple, Technology Nike, Sportswear and Equipment Coca-Cola, Beverages McDonald's, Fast Food Mercedes-Benz, Automobiles Amazon, E-Commerce Google, Technology and Search these are just a few examples, but there are many other successful brands in the world as well. Do you have a specific question about a particular brand or branding in general? There are many different brands in the world, in a wide variety of industries. Some well-known brands include Nike, Apple, and Coca-Cola. Brands can be associated with a particular product or service, or they can be broader in scope and represent a company's entire range of offerings. Strong brands often have a positive reputation and are able to command a premium price for their products or services. Do you have a specific brand in mind that you would like to know more about? There are many different brands in the world, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Some brands are known for their high-quality products, while others are known for their affordable prices. Some brands are associated with a particular country or region, while others are global in nature. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, Coca-Cola, and Apple. Do you have a particular brand in mind that you would like to know more about? There are many brands in the world, and they can be related to a wide variety of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Technology, Nike, Sporting Goods, Coca-Cola, Beverages, McDonald's, Fast Food, Microsoft, Technology, Amazon, e commerce, Toyota, automobiles, Samsung, technology, Mercedes Benz, automobiles, Google, technology. This is just a small sampling of the many brands that exist. Do you have a specific brand in mind that you would like to know more about? There are many different brands in the world, 
and they can be associated with a wide range of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike for athletic clothing and footwear, Apple for computers and electronics, and Coca-Cola for soft drinks. Brands are often carefully developed and managed to create a specific image or identity in the minds of consumers. In addition to helping businesses stand out in a crowded market, strong brands can also command higher prices and create customer loyalty. Do you have any specific questions about branding or brands that I can help with? There are many different brands in the world, offering a wide variety of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, Apple, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. These brands are often recognized and trusted by consumers and have established a loyal customer base through the quality of their products and the strength of their marketing efforts. In general, a strong brand can be an important asset for a business, helping to differentiate it from competitors and build customer loyalty. A successful brand strategy can help a business to establish itself as a leader in its industry and drive sales and growth. There are many different brands of products and services available in the market. Some well-known brands include Nike, Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Coca-Cola. These brands are often recognized and trusted by consumers and can command a premium price for their products as a result. Building a strong brand can take a lot of time and effort, but it can pay off by helping a business stand out in a crowded market and creating loyal customers. There are many different brands in the world, and they can be found in a variety of industries including consumer goods, technology, automotive, fashion, and more. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, Apple, Google, Coca-Cola, and Mercedes-Benz. Brands are often associated with a particular product or service and can be an important factor in consumers' purchasing decisions. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand or brands in general? There are many different brands in the world, across a wide range of industries. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, Coca-Cola, and Apple in the consumer goods industry, and Toyota, BMW, and Ford in the automotive industry. Brands are an important way for companies to differentiate their products and services from those of their competitors and can be an important factor in building customer loyalty and attracting new customers. Do you have any specific questions about brands? There are many different brands in the world, each with its own unique characteristics and offerings. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, Apple, and Coca-Cola. These brands are known for their high-quality products and strong reputations. Building a strong brand requires a commitment to consistently delivering a high-quality product or service, as well as an effective marketing and branding efforts. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand or branding in general? There are many different brands in the world, covering a wide range of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Coca-Cola, Nike, and Microsoft. These companies have built strong brands through consistent messaging, high-quality products, and effective marketing efforts. Strong brands can be a valuable asset for a company as they can help to differentiate a company's products or services from those of its competitors and can also foster customer loyalty. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand or branding in general? There are many different brands in the world, covering a wide range of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. These brands are known for their high quality and strong customer loyalty. Brands are important for businesses because they help to identify and differentiate a company's products or services from those of its competitors, and can also be used to build customer trust and loyalty. Do you have any other questions about brands? There are many different brands in the world, each with its own unique identity and characteristics. Some of the most well-known brands include Apple, a technology company that produces consumer electronics, computer software, and online services. Nike, a sports and fitness company that produces athletic footwear, apparel, and equipment. Coca-Cola, a beverage company that produces a variety of non-alcoholic drinks. McDonald's, a fast food company that operates restaurants worldwide. Microsoft, 
a technology company that produces computer software, consumer electronics, and personal computers. These are just a few examples, but there are many other brands in a wide range of industries. Do you have a specific brand in mind that you would like to know more about? There are many different brands in the world, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Some brands are associated with large multinational corporations, while others are associated with small, independent businesses. Some brands are known for their high-quality products or services, while others are known for their affordability. Some of the most well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. However, there are countless other brands in a wide variety of industries, from fashion and beauty to technology and automotive. Is there a specific brand you would like to know more about? There are many different brands in the world, each with its own unique characteristics and attributes. Some popular brands include Apple, a technology company is known for its innovative products such as the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Nike, a sports apparel and footwear company is known for its Just Do It slogan and swoosh logo. Coca-Cola, a soft drink company is known for its classic red and white branding and iconic Coke bottle. Mercedes-Benz, a luxury automobile manufacturer is known for its high-end vehicles. Disney, a media and entertainment company known for its theme parks, movies, and characters such as Mickey Mouse. These are just a few examples, but there are many, many other brands in a variety of industries. Is there a specific brand you would like to know more about? There are many different brands in the world, each with its own unique identity and characteristics. Some of the most well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and Google. These brands are known for the high quality and value of their products and services, as well as their strong brand identity and reputation. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand, or are you looking for information about branding in general? There are many different brands in the world, each with its own unique characteristics and offerings. Some popular brands in various industries include Apple, Technology, Nike, Sportswear, Coca-Cola, Beverages, BMW, Automobiles, Disney, Entertainment. Each of these brands is known for its quality products and strong customer relationships. Do you have a specific question about a particular brand or are you looking for more general information about brands? There are many different brands in the world representing a wide variety of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, and Google. These brands are known for their high-quality products and strong reputations, and they often command a premium price as a result. In addition to household names, there are also many smaller, specialized brands that serve specific markets or niches. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand? There are many different brands in the world, and each one is unique. Some well-known brands include Apple, Nike, and Coca-Cola. These brands are known for their high-quality products and strong customer loyalty. Other brands that may be less well-known but are still important include those that operate in niche markets or are specific to certain regions. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand? There are many different brands in the world, and they can be associated with a wide variety of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, Coca-Cola, Apple, and Microsoft. Brands can be powerful in helping businesses to differentiate their products and services from those of their competitors and can be an important part of a company's marketing strategy. Do you have any specific questions about brands or branding? There are many brands in the world representing a wide range of products and services. Some well-known brands include Nike for athletic clothing and shoes, Apple for electronics, and Coca-Cola for soft drinks. In general, a brand is a combination of a company's reputation, logo, and other marketing elements that make its products or services easily recognizable and differentiate them from those of its competitors. Brands can be powerful in helping businesses to stand out in a crowded marketplace and build customer loyalty. There are many different brands in the world, offering a wide variety of products and services. Some of the most well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, and Microsoft. 
These brands are known for their high quality products and strong reputation, which they have built up over many years through consistent marketing efforts and excellent customer service. Brands can be associated with almost any type of product or service, including clothing, electronics, food and beverage, and more. Do you have a specific brand in mind that you would like to know more about? There are many different brands across a wide range of industries. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, sportswear and athletic shoes, Coca-Cola, beverages, Apple, technology, Ford, automobiles, Walmart, retail. Branding is an important part of a company's marketing strategy, as it helps to establish the company's identity and build recognition for its products or services. Strong brands often have high levels of customer loyalty and can command premium prices for their products. There are many brands in the world, representing a wide range of products and services. Some of the most well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Google. These brands are known for their high-quality products and services, as well as their strong brand identity and marketing efforts. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand? There are many brands in the world, and they can be associated with a wide range of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Nike, Samsung, and Coca-Cola. These brands are known for their high quality and strong reputation, and they often have a loyal customer base. Brands can be powerful assets for businesses, as they can help to differentiate a company's products or services from those of its competitors, and can also help to build customer trust and loyalty. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand or about branding in general? There are many different brands in the world, across a wide range of industries. Some well-known brands include Apple, Nike, and Coca-Cola. These brands are known for the high quality and reputation of their products and services and have built up a loyal customer base as a result. Building a strong brand is an important part of a business's marketing and can help a company to stand out in a crowded marketplace. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand or branding in general? There are many different brands in the world, and they can be found in a variety of industries including clothing, technology, and food. Some well-known brands include Nike, Apple, and McDonald's. Brands can be an important way for businesses to differentiate their products or services from those of their competitors and can help to build customer loyalty and establish a company's reputation in the marketplace. Do you have any specific questions about brands or branding? There are many brands across a wide range of industries, such as clothing, electronics, food and beverage, and more. Some well-known brands include Nike, Apple, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. Each of these brands has built a strong reputation and a loyal customer base through effective marketing and by consistently delivering high-quality products or services. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand, or are you looking for general information about branding? There are many different brands in the world, representing a wide variety of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, a brand of athletic and sportswear, Apple, a brand of consumer electronics and computer software, Coca-Cola, a brand of carbonated soft drinks, McDonald's, a brand of fast food restaurants, Walmart, a brand of discount department stores, Google, a brand of internet-related services and products. Each of these brands has its own unique identity and characteristics which help to differentiate it from competitors in the market. There are many different brands in the world, and they can be associated with a wide range of products and services. Some well-known brands include Apple, technology, Nike, sportswear and equipment, Coca-Cola, beverages, McDonald's, fast food, Google, technology and search, Amazon, retail. These are just a few examples, and there are many many more brands out there. Do you have a particular brand in mind that you would like to know more about? There are many different brands in the world, and they can be associated with a wide variety of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Nike, sportswear and athletic equipment, Apple, consumer electronics, Coca-Cola, beverages, 
and McDonald's, fast food. A brand can be a valuable asset for a company, as it can help to establish its identity and differentiate its products or services from those of its competitors. Brands can be created through a variety of means, including advertising, marketing, and public relations efforts. There are many different brands in the world, and they can be associated with a wide range of products and services. Some examples of well-known brands include Apple, Technology, Nike, Sportswear, Coca-Cola, Beverages, Mercedes-Benz, Automobiles, Google, Search Engine and Technology. Brands can be powerful and influential, and can play a significant role in consumer decisions about what products and services to purchase. Do you have any specific questions about a particular brand or branding in general? A brand is a name, term, design, symbol or any other feature that distinguishes one seller's good or service from those of other sellers. 2345, brands are used in business, marketing, and advertising for recognition and, importantly, to create and store value as brand equity for the object identified, to the benefit of the brand's customers, its owners and shareholders. Brand names are sometimes distinguished from generic or store brands. The practice of branding, in the original literal sense of marking by burning, is thought to have begun with the ancient Egyptians, who are known to have engaged in livestock branding as early as 2700 BCE. 7 Need Quotation to Verify Branding was used to differentiate one person's cattle from another's by means of a distinctive symbol burned into the animal's skin with a hot branding iron. If a person stole any of the cattle, anyone else who saw the symbol could deduce the actual owner. The term has been extended to mean a strategic personality for a product or company so that brand now suggests the values and promises that a consumer may perceive and buy into. It includes the voice and the tonality of the business. Over time, the practice of branding objects extended to a broader range of packaging and goods offered for sale including oil, wine, cosmetics, and fish sauce, and, in the 21st century, extends even further into services, such as legal, financial and medical, political parties and people branding in terms of painting a cow with symbols or colors at flea markets was considered to be one of the oldest forms of the practice. In the modern era, the concept of branding has expanded to include deployment by a manager of the marketing and communication techniques and tools that help to distinguish a company or products from competitors, aiming to create a lasting impression in the minds of customers. The key components that form a brand's toolbox include a brand's identity, personality, product design, brand communication, such as logos and trademarks, brand awareness, brand loyalty, and various branding, brand management, strategies. 8. Many companies believe that there is often little to differentiate between several types of products in the 21st century, hence branding is among the few remaining forms of product differentiation. Brand equity is the measurable totality of a brand's worth and is validated by observing the effectiveness of these branding components. 10. As markets become increasingly dynamic and fluctuating, brand equity is built by the deployment of marketing techniques to increase customer satisfaction and customer loyalty, with side effects like reduced price sensitivity. 8. A brand is, in essence, a promise to its customers of what they can expect from products and may include emotional as well as functional benefits. 8. When a customer is familiar with a brand or favors it incomparably to its competitors, a corporation has reached a high level of brand equity. 10. Special accounting standards have been devised to assess brand equity. In accounting, a brand, defined as an intangible asset, is often the most valuable asset on a corporation's balance sheet. Brand owners manage their brands carefully to create shareholder value. Brand valuation is a management technique that ascribes a monetary value to a brand, and allows marketing investment to be managed, for example, prioritized across a portfolio of brands, to maximize shareholder value. Although only acquired brands appear on a company's balance sheet, the notion of putting a value on a brand forces marketing leaders to be focused on long-term stewardship of the brand and managing for value. He word brand is often used as a metonym referring to the company that is strongly identified with a brand.
Mark or make are often used to denote a brand of motor vehicle, which may be distinguished from a car model. A concept brand is a brand that is associated with an abstract concept, like breast cancer awareness or environmentalism, rather than a specific product, service, or business. A commodity brand is a brand associated with a commodity. Brand By Katie Terrell Hanna What is a brand? A brand is a product, service, or concept that is publicly distinguished from other products, services, or concepts so that it can be easily communicated and usually marketed. Branding is the process of creating and disseminating the brand name, its qualities, and its personality. Branding could be applied to the entire corporate identity as well as to individual products and services or concepts. Well-known advertising copywriter and ad agency founder David Ogilvy defined a brand as the intangible sum of a product's attributes, its name, packaging, and price, its history, its reputation, and the way it's advertised. Brands are often expressed in the form of logos and graphic representations of the brand. In computers, a modern example of widespread brand application was the Intel Inside label provided to manufacturers that use Intel CPUs. A company's brands and the public's awareness of them are often used as a factor in evaluating a company. Corporations sometimes hire market research firms to study public recognition of brand names as well as attitudes toward the brands. Brands are usually protected from use by others by securing a trademark or service mark from an authorized agency, usually a government agency. Before applying for a trademark or service mark, individuals and organizations need to establish that someone else hasn't already obtained one for that name. Although they can do the searching themselves, it is common to hire a law firm that specializes in doing trademark searches and managing the application process, which, in the United States, takes about a year. Once they've learned that no one else is using it, they can begin to use their brand name as a trademark simply by stating it as a trademark, using the TM where it first appears in a publication or website. After receiving the trademark, they can use the registered symbol after their trademark. Organizations should trademark their brand name as soon as possible after beginning to use it in commerce or e-commerce. The best way to protect a brand name is to file for a trademark before someone else does. They can use the DM symbol on their brand name even before they file for federal trademark protection. If they wait to file for a trademark until after someone else has started using their brand, it can be more difficult and expensive to stop them. It is also important to use a brand name consistently so that it becomes well known and associated with the company or product. Inconsistent use can weaken your brand and make it more difficult to enforce trademark rights. Famous brands include Coca-Cola, Nike, IBM, Volkswagen and Chanel. These companies have built their brand over many years and are among the most valuable brands in the world. The Coca-Cola brand is worth $79 billion making it the most valuable brand in the world. Coca-Cola has been able to build such strong brand equity because it has consistently delivered a product that people enjoy. Nike is the second most valuable brand in the world, with a brand value of $56 billion. Nike has built its brand by associating itself with some of the world's greatest athletes and using creative marketing campaigns that resonate with consumers. These companies have all built their brand equity through a combination of great products and strong marketing. A brand identity is made up of what your brand says, what your values are, how you communicate your product, and what you want people to feel when they interact with your company. Essentially, your brand identity is the personality of your business and a promise to your customers. The terms brand and logo are often used interchangeably, but they are not the same. Originally, the term brand was used to refer to the mark that cattle ranchers branded on their cattle. However, the idea of a brand has since evolved to encompass much more than just a name or a symbol. A brand is a feature, or set of features, that distinguishes one organization from another. A brand is typically comprised of a name, tagline, logo or symbol, design, brand voice, and more. Brand identity, then is the aspect of branding that focuses on your brand's personality, as well as the values you convey to customers.
As Wayfair senior brand manager Jarrett Rosen puts it, brand identity is more than just finding the right logo to place on coffee cup sleeves or mount above your front door. It's about crafting a personality that amplifies the core elements to your brand's DNA. Today, the most magnetic brand identities scale across digital platforms, IRL experiences, and even naturally converse with real customers. Building a brand from the ground up that stands out is no easy task. What should it look like? How should it make people feel? Will it resonate with my target audience? These are questions that inevitably come up when you start thinking about how to connect the dots between what you're selling and who you're trying to reach. You can check our guide on how to start a business to get started. Whether you've got nothing but a business idea or want to pivot your existing branding design, here's what you need to know about building a strong brand identity for your business. A brand isn't just a recognizable name and brand logo that distinguishes you in a crowded market. When you think about it, people have personal brands, too. We each have a name, a face, a style, and a way of communicating, and with these traits, we make different impressions on different people. Likewise, businesses have names, products, logos, colors, fonts, voices, and reputations that make up what they are and affect how they're perceived. You can effectively approach how to create a brand without being consistent and maintaining that consistency as you extend your brand to every part of your business. The best way to build a brand starts with establishing what that consistency is going to look like and the feeling you want it to evoke. Just like your personal identity makes you uniquely you, your brand identity is the special sauce for your business that sets you apart from every other Tom, Dick and Harry incorporated on the block. And your brand identity design? It's what shapes your company. But what exactly is brand identity? What does it have to do with design? And how do you shape a strong brand identity that takes your business to the next level? Brand identity is the collection of all elements that a company creates to portray the right image to its consumer. Brand identity is different from brand image and branding, even though these terms are sometimes treated as interchangeable. The term branding refers to the marketing practice of actively shaping a distinctive brand. Brand is the perception of the company in the eyes of the world. Let's dig a little deeper. Let's say you are a middle school student. As an awkward pre-adolescent, you want to be perceived as cool and get invited to sit at the best table in the cafeteria. But you can't just force other people to have that image of you. In order to develop this brand, you need to do some work. So you make sure you watch the right YouTube channels so you always know the latest meme. Maybe you start working on your free throw. And cultivating on an impression of Mr. Archibald, your science teacher. These actions are the work you're putting towards develop your desired image, they're your branding. Finally, you need to make sure you look the part. You save up your money to buy the new Adidas shoes everyone covets. You get a new haircut. You try out for, and join, the basketball team. Those tangible elements, the shoes, the haircut, the team membership, that's brand identity. Your brand identity is what makes you instantly recognizable to your customers. Your audience will associate your brand identity with your product or service, and that identity is what forges the connection between you and your customers, builds customer loyalty, and determines how your customers will perceive your brand. Know who you are. Before you know what tangible elements you want to make up your brand identity, you need to know who you are as a brand. Who you are as a brand is made up of a few key elements. Your mission, what's your why? Your values, what beliefs drive your company? Your brand personality, if your brand was a person, what kind of personality would they have? Your unique positioning, how do you differentiate yourself from the competition? Your brand voice, if your brand was a person, how would it communicate? These elements are what define your brand, and before you start building your brand identity, it's important you have a clear understanding of each. If you're having trouble figuring out who exactly you are, don't sweat it. Sometimes, all you need is a simple brainstorm to help you get clarity on who you are as a brand. Ask yourself. Why did we start this business? What are beliefs and values that are important to us as a company? What do we do better than anyone else? 
What makes us special? If we could describe our brand in three words, what would they be? What are the three words we would want our customers to use to describe us? You can also check out this awesome branding workbook from consulting firm PricewaterhouseCoopers. While this workbook is geared towards personal branding, the strategies will work for any type of business model. Once you've locked in who you are as a brand, it's time to build the identity that will bring your brand to life and show who you are to the people who matter most, your customers. Just like your Adidas built the brand identity of your middle school star athlete persona, your design is what will build the brand identity of your company. Your corporate design assets are the tangible elements that will determine how your brand is perceived. Things like your logo, your packaging, your web design, your social media graphics, your business cards and the uniforms your employees wear. In other words, nailing your design equals nailing your brand identity equals building a successful business that's an accurate representation of who you are as a brand. So. How exactly do you nail your design and build a brand identity that will take your business to the next level? Brand is more than a catchphrase or a company's style choice. It's the collective imagery, feeling, and reputation of a company that follows it everywhere. When built properly, your brand can help your company reach new heights of success. But when built improperly, your brand might push customers away and make turning a profit nearly impossible. That's why it's important to have a good marketing strategy and a solid grasp of brand management, what do you need for the branding process, and how does your brand image impact the customer experience. This article will cover some branding guidelines and strategies for new entrepreneurs at the beginning of their journeys. Branding is one of the most important aspects of any business, large or small, retail or B2B. An effective brand strategy gives you a major edge in increasingly competitive markets. But what exactly does branding mean? How does it affect a small business like yours? Simply put, your brand is your promise to your customer. It tells them what they can expect from your products and services, and it differentiates your offering from your competitors. Your brand is derived from who you are, who you want to be, and who people perceive you to be. Are you the innovative maverick in your industry? Or the experienced, reliable one? Is your product the high cost, high quality option, or the low cost, high value option? You can't be both, and you can't be all things to all people. Who you are should be based to some extent on who your target customers want and need you to be. The foundation of your brand is your logo. Your website, packaging, and promotional materials all of which should integrate your logo communicate your brand. Your brand strategy is how, what, where, when and to whom you plan on communicating and delivering on your brand messages. Where you advertise is part of your brand strategy. Your distribution channels are also part of your brand strategy. And what you communicate visually and verbally are part of your brand strategy, too. Consistent Strategic branding leads to a strong brand equity, which means the added value brought to your company's products or services that allows you to charge more for your brand than what identical, unbranded products command. The most obvious example of this is Coke versus a generic soda. Because Coca-Cola has built a powerful brand equity, it can charge more for its product and customers will pay that higher price. The added value intrinsic to brand equity frequently comes in the form of perceived quality or emotional attachment. For example, Nike associates its products with star athletes, hoping customers will transfer their emotional attachment from the athlete to the product. For Nike, it's not just the shoe's features that sell the shoe. Defining your brand is like a journey of business self-discovery. It can be difficult, time-consuming and uncomfortable. It requires at the very least, that you answer the questions below. What is your company's mission? What are the benefits and features of your products or services? What do your customers and prospects already think of your company? What qualities do you want them to associate with your company? Do your research. Learn the needs, habits and desires of your current and prospective customers. And don't rely on what you think they think. Know what they think. Your target audience is essentially the group of customers most likely to buy something from your brand. 
you can determine your target audience by understanding its key attributes, like sex, age, location, and more. Do some market research and figure out your potential customer demographics. The more you learn about your target audience, the better you'll be able to market to them, and the better you'll be able to meet their needs in the long term. Because defining your brand and developing a brand strategy can be complex, consider leveraging the expertise of a non-profit small business advisory group or a small business development center. Once you've defined your brand, how do you get the word out? Here are a few simple, time-tested tips. Get a great logo. Place it everywhere. Write down your brand messaging. What are the key messages you want to communicate about your brand? Every employee should be aware of your brand attributes. Integrate your brand. Branding extends to every aspect of your business how you answer your phones, what you or your salespeople wear on sales calls, your email signature, everything. Create a voice for your company that reflects your brand. This voice should be applied to all written communication and incorporated in the visual imagery of all materials, online and off. Is your brand friendly? Be conversational. Is it ritzy? Be more formal. You get the gist. Develop a tagline. Write a memorable, meaningful and concise statement that captures the essence of your brand. Design templates and create brand standards for your marketing materials. Use the same color scheme logo placement look and feel throughout you don't need to be fancy just consistent be true to your brand customers won't return to you or refer you to someone else if you don't deliver on your brand promise be consistent i place this point last only because it involves all of the above and is the most important tip i can give you if you can't do this your attempts at establishing a brand will fail the visual identity of your brand can significantly increase your brand recognition, so having an interesting but clear brand style is important. Let's dive a little deeper into some of the things touched on above. For example, your brand's logo should be unique, iconic, and related to your brand's mission or what it produces. Try to incorporate some aesthetic or stylistic element of what your brand does into the logo. Don't be afraid to hire a good graphic designer to create a stellar logo from scratch. You only get one chance to make a logo that sticks in the minds of your target audience. If it's a good one, your brand will grow that much more successfully. Logo design can help you capture new customers and convince your target market slash customer base to give your company a shot. Plus, it'll serve as effective branding on product packaging. Similarly, you should choose your brand's color, text fonts, and other stylistic elements carefully. A specific color or text font can draw people to your brand or push them away, depending on your industry. For instance, if you want to make a line of power tools for women, a red or violet color could be just the ticket, while pink might be considered a little too classically feminine for your target audience. You should also consider how your brand's voice fits into your brand's overall style. If, for instance, you run a B2B company and advertise and sell primarily to others in your industry, you shouldn't speak down to them or use a lot of catchphrases. Instead, you should use highly technical, informative language that proves your brand's authority and knowledge in its niche. The reverse is true if you advertise and sell to the public, the simpler and more understandable your copy and content is, the better. Designing a good brand style is just the start. You then need to make sure that you maintain brand continuity in all marketing materials you put out, including the materials made by freelancers or third parties. Oh that end, it might be wise to create a style guide for your brand. The style guide should include breakdowns of all the information above, including how your logo looks, the colors to use for marketing materials, and the brand voice to use for copy text. Send out the style guide to every marketing expert or professional working with your company. This includes social media typography and messages, especially since you'll communicate to your loyal customers on social media in many cases. The style guide must be adhered to at all times, including by individuals in your organization. Why? The more consistent your brand feels in the minds of your consumers, the easier it will stick in their minds and the more memorable it will be overall. 
If your brand feels chaotic or disorganized, people will be less likely to remember the name, let alone the purpose, of your brand when they need a product that you sell. They may even think your rebranding or your brand values are changing when they aren't. If you do this right, your brand will become ubiquitous with the services you offer or the products you make. Ultimately, building a brand requires practice, experience, and patience. Keep iterating on your brand identity and theme, as you learn more about your customers and what they desire, you can tweak your brand over and over until it is the ideal version for profitability. Good luck! Brand marketing is promoting a brand's products or services in a way that elevates the brand as a whole. It involves creating and maintaining brand consumer relationships and marketing brand attributes, the traits that people think of when they picture a particular brand. In this guide, we'll provide an overview of all things branding, including brand marketing strategy, types of brands, brand awareness, brand equity, brand relevance, and brand recognition as well as highlight branding solutions from Amazon ads. A brand is how a company differentiates itself from its peer brands. A brand can be thought of as the personality of the company, communicated through an identifying mark, logo, name, tagline, voice, and tone. Some of the oldest and most recognizable brand names in automotive, toys, and food and beverage have been around for decades with some surpassing more than a century of consistent and recognizable branding. There are three main types of brands, including company-slash-corporation brands, product brands, and personal brands, which apply to individuals. The rules of brand marketing apply, regardless of type. Now that we know what a brand is, let's talk about how to create a brand marketing strategy. Brand marketing is the process of establishing and growing a relationship between a brand and consumers. Rather than highlighting an individual product or service, brand marketing promotes the entirety of the brand, using the products and services as proof points that support the brand's promise. The goal of brand marketing is to build a brand's value, and the company's value as a result. The channels available for a brand marketing strategy are the same channels that companies can use for product marketing activities, such as digital, social, and paid search advertising. A good strategy is to use different channels together to create a media mix that reaches a wide audience. For example, brand marketers might use a brand advertising strategy supplemented by email and content marketing efforts to drive brand awareness and reach potential customers across multiple digital spaces but when it comes to deciding the right messages for the right audiences in these spaces we first have to consider brand attributes just like people have their own unique combinations of personality traits brands have unique attributes as well Attributes are identifiers that consumers see as part of a brand. These can include the name and tagline, colors, or even music or sounds often associated with the brand. In addition, attributes can be the feeling that a brand evokes. Example feeling attributes include authentic, innovative, dependable, honest, or transparent. Brand equity is the value of a company's brand, or the measure of consumers' perceptions of the brand. Strong brand equity has to do with how well consumers know the brand, their preference for it over others, their level of connection with the brand, and their level of loyalty to it. Strong brand equity opens doors for brands to innovate and expand their businesses with the support of their loyal base of consumers. Brand equity is measured by comparing brand awareness, brand loyalty, preference, and financial metrics. Brand awareness is determining how many consumers are aware of a brand, and is measured through surveys and focus groups, social listening tools, and search and web traffic insights. Brand loyalty is measured using purchasing behavior insights like repeat purchase behavior and time between purchases. Preference is measured through insights such as purchase intent metrics and surveys. Financial metrics relate to sales lift as a result of brand marketing campaigns. In order to build strong brand equity, it's important to establish a strong brand consumer relationship. The brand consumer relationship, also called the consumer brand or brand relationship, is how well a brand and consumers are connected. Is it a strong connection or a weak one? A positive connection or a negative one? 
Are consumers functionally connected to the brand or are they emotionally invested in it? The best brand connections are strong, positive, and emotionally rooted. These are the connections that help turn buyers from one-time purchasers into lifelong brand advocates. Branding is perhaps more important than ever as marketplaces become more saturated and it becomes harder to make genuine connections with consumers. Branding allows companies to tell their unique stories and shift perception by giving customers something to believe in. It sparks interest, and invites customers to discover, learn about, and establish a memorable relationship with their brand. Rather than specs and features, branding is about what a company stands for. Who it is at the core. Branding is about making consumers feel good about supporting a company and establishing an emotional connection. Those that brand effectively create a lasting impression that helps grow advocacy and loyalty among customers for the long term. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe the channel.